Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trade Masters. So today's video is going to be about Schneider Electric. So Schneider Electric is a small cap industry as well. And the market capital of Schneider Electric is a little bit above 3000 crores. So that is below the 5000 crore mark. So it, uh, it comes under the classification of small cap industries. Okay, so let's get into the technical viewpoint of Schneider Electric. So this uh, blue line over here basically represents our trend line resistant trend line and uh, Schneider Electric tried to break it over here but it couldn't uh, break it because of the uh, huge selling pressure it came down took support from the uh, nearest uh, support zone and after that it break out uh, on April 25th on April 22nd to be precise with a good volume as well okay so now it is coming down for a retest so basically a retest uh, what we would recommend is exactly at the breakout point if the stock comes again and touches and if it touches and it forms a good uh, reversal candle we would be calling that as a retest but uh, over here uh, we have to calculate we have to consider the schneider electric uh, you know characteristics as well so this stock has a particular characteristic so we have considered those characteristics as well and we have given uh, you know, our buy zone a little bit lower so i'll be coming into those details as well uh, shortly okay so uh, your breakout happened uh, almost around uh, 133 levels so 133 was your breakout zone and right now it is coming down for a retest so 133 is going to be a good uh, buy zone for Schneider Electric and if you calculate the Fibonacci levels as well so Fibonacci levels 134 is a it's a golden retracement uh, level as well so from 134 it is uh, the stock is expected to move up so what I would uh, recommend in the script is uh, just take 50 percentage or or uh, 20 to 30 percentage of uh, uh, the stock in somewhere around 130 to 134. So just buy some buy some quantity in 130 to 134, and the remaining uh, 50 percentage or 70 percentage you can buy it and dip till 125. The reason why our buy zone our retesting buy zone is a little bit low is because this uh, script has a particular characteristic. So. To look at that we need to move on to the previous breakout so this is a once again a resistance trend line and our previous breakout got happened over here okay so basically retest is supposed to happen over here 117 levels so it has to come and come down and touch the trend line the breakout uh, retest area so 117 was supposed to be the retest area but the stock you know broke this uh, support zone and came down so where exactly it took retest the previous support so this this will be acting as a previous support okay it took support over here and from there it went up it went up okay so now coming to the current uh, market scenario so we have a breakout over here and uh, technically the stock is supposed to retest over here okay and uh, we have a good uh, 60 uh, 70 to 80 percentage chance that the stock might uh, touch this uh, blue line and it will start reversing there is uh, absolutely uh, uh, you know uh, nothing to st prevent the stock from you know coming down a little bit further it can take a support over here and it can retest but the characteristics of the stock also says that 20 to 30 percentage of the times it will break this uh, retest zone that is a trend line support zone and it will come down and, uh, and it will take support at the uh, earlier support level so this is where we have our earlier support level so that is why our buy buying in dips will is a little bit lower till 125 okay so the current market price of the script is 137 uh, rupees per share so what i recommend in this uh, script is if it comes down to 134 133 just by 20 to 30 percentage of uh, the shares and the remaining uh, 60 or 70 percentage you can uh, buy it in dips till 125 so your best buying zone is going to be 125 okay and the stop loss is going to be 110 so that is uh, approximate that is 15 point stop loss and your target one is going to be 145 and your target two is going to be 160 and your target three is going to be 180 okay so target three is the so target three is the maximum uh, 180 is the target three and it is the maximum uh, levels uh, that we'll be booking profit at okay so coming to the time frame the maximum time frame uh, how much days it can take for to reach 180 levels so what we are expecting is uh, schneider electric can reach 180 anywhere between four months to six months so six, six months is the maximum holding period uh, uh, for schneider electric to reach a target of 180 and uh, when 180 is 
when when 180 is done you will be having an approximate profit of 45 percentage and above okay so when you're buying it at 125 and your 180 levels is done you will be having an approximate profit of 45 percentage and above it can go beyond this 180 there is nothing stopping uh, you know this stock uh, to uh, reverse at 180 it can go beyond that as well but as of now technically we have freezed 180 as a target three as a final target for a short term investment okay so uh, when you look at the weekly time chart as well so this 183 sorry 180 basically is our previous high over here and we have one more high over here that 220 uh, Schneider Electric can has all the possibilities to reach 220 as well but you're not going to hold for that long so 180 can reach anywhere between four months to six months so as a short term investment we'll be booking profit at 180 and be happy with it okay so to summarize uh, everything your uh, Current market price is at 137 rupees per share. You'll be buying it in dips till 125. And your stop loss is going to be 110. That is a 15 point stop loss. And your target one is going to be 145. Your target two is going to be 160. And your target three is going to be 180. And the maximum holding period is going to be uh, six months. That is the maximum holding period. And uh, your uh, profit uh, potential is going to be 45 percentage and above. So this is a short term investment as well. Okay. So I hope this video was useful. Uh, if you give a thumbs up if you find my analysis interesting and do share our videos and our channel with your friends and family members so that uh, they can also subscribe and they can also get benefit from our, from our predictions. I'll see you guys in the next video with another exciting stock prediction. Take care. Bye-bye.